Hello, my name is Ram. I'm a technical leader here in Cisco TAC within IoT. In this video, I will discuss the steps needed to collect the logs in debug mode from a network management application called Field Network Director, referred to as FND. For scenario one, you would log into the web interface of the application. From the web interface, navigate to admin, system management, logging. Once in the logging page, click on download logs to get the logs bundled. It would take a few minutes to tar the files and present the link for download. As you can see, it's processing. I'll pause the video for brevity. The files are now ready for download. Clicking on the link will take you to the files. For scenario two, you would navigate to the logging page again. Click on log level settings. Here, debugging will be set for specific logging modules to capture detailed information on the backend communications. Check the box for the specific category for which troubleshooting is needed. For example, if the bootstrap configuration is not getting applied, select by checking the box against router bootstrapping Change it from informational to debug mode. Click go. Confirm by clicking S. If you scroll down, we will be able to validate that the log level mode is indeed changed to debug for router bootstrapping module. Now, you can go and recreate the problem. Once the problem is recreated, you will come back to the same path. Click on Download Logs to get the logs bundled with the trace level information recorded in the files. For scenario number three, we'll focus on EIDs for each device. EIDs can be entered in the debugging panel on the right side of the screen. EID stands for Element Identifier, which is a combination of Product Identifier and the serial number. For example, here you have IR829 PID with the serial number of the device. Finally, click the disk icon to save the setting. A separate log file is created for each EID in the file system. You can click on download logs to get the logs bundle, which would include all the log files including the specific serial number that was added here. Alternatively, it can also be located from the CLI of the server under the opt FND logs directory. Thank you for watching.